Hello guys, uh, this is Shirat Abraham with another video. In this video, I'm gonna change things a little bit. Um, this video is gonna be mostly just an introduction to the TI-89 Titanium. Please, if you would like some more um, tutorials for the TI-89, please comment be below. But this video is just an introduction and I'm gonna show you guys what this kaka can do uh, and also what how can help you out, you guys out with uh, especially in stats since most of my tutorials are uh, statistics I will get a little more in uh, detailed with the statistics and the TID9 uh, before we continue please like my video comment below share it and subscribe so here we go so when you first turn on the calculator it's gonna give you this default display. And let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. And this display is where you see your apps or your applications. And personally, me, I don't like this display. So what I'm gonna do, cause every time you turn it off, doing the second key, and the on bottom here and then turn back on as you guys can see it's gonna go back to the same apps and there if you want to go ahead and go to do your actual calculations you you will get yourself lost they don't know where to go uh, but actually it's here where it says home let me get closer here it says home down here and home up there Okay, and every time you change the selection, it will also display both down here, the name of that app and on the top. All right, so I'm gonna go down to select home. I'm gonna press enter. Oops, sorry about that. Press enter right here. And then I got, I'm in the home page. This page is usually where you do your calculations, you know, your usual, and let me zoom out a little bit. All right, let me just here a little bit. So yeah, so this is where you usually do your, your, you know, your math and so four minus two, enter, and right here is where you see the, the answer. Now be aware, and this is what got me, for those who are used to, to the TI-84 or 83 of the TI Texas instrument, it gets a little confusing because the, the TI-89, as far as, can, I, as far as my knowledge, uh, and I believe it's it also maybe the, ins, the, ins, ex, the, ins, the Inspire, I believe it also does the same thing. Is the only two calculators. Now feel free to comment below if I'm incorrect. Uh, is the only ones that has a text uh, box underneath. So up here between here and down here, where the stat is at, is your history window area. And down here is your input box. So that's where you, whenever you want to uh, type in a calculation, your input is gonna appear in the bottom box. So let me give you an example. Let me, so if I do, um, let me just zoom in, zoom out, sorry. Again, if I do eight minus six and zoom in here, you guys will see that the eight minus six is displayed under the, on the box. However, once I hit the enter button, which is like the equal sign, in a way, for those who use other types of calculators, like the the regular, you know, regular four function calculators, the enter for the TI is considered like the equal, um, in the equal for the other calculators. Just um, just be aware that the TI instrument calculators were all created in a point view of a programmer for those who are taking programming will probably have seen some of these symbols similar symbols 
and also the function is pretty similar for those who do in programming. That is why the TI is really um, likes to promote their calculators a lot uh, for those who like to do programming because their whole sim system itself is pretty much in a point uh, it's com in a point of view of a programmer, which is pretty good and uh, uh, for those who want to be programmers. So yeah, so again, so once I hit the enter, that's when I get my it gets moved up to the history um, or the display uh, area with the answer and you still have your last um, input in the input box here. And another thing will be good to know about, and again, it's just a little introduction of the calculator, is to, if you want it um, delete something, just press or erase something, just press this one right here. So as you keep pressing it, it, uh, it deletes. It's like a backspace if you look at the point of view of the um, keyboard and the computer. Again, you probably, for those who've been using computers back in the 80s uh, or even early 90s, uh, the enter key, I'm sorry, the backspace key, uh, used the symbol symbol and the keyboard to um, to show that it's a backspace key okay the let's see of course you you're clear it was just clear the whole um so if I go up here and just hit clear or clear all that if I keep here if I keep pressing clear it will clear the line that's been selected even if I'm down here in my input box and I hit clear, we'll clear that, clear that line, okay? So that's a little introduction that I want there. Also, the TI-89, uh, pretty much the whole, the, the actual function of this calculator is for engineers and computer science uh, people. And that is because up here on the top, is where you see your calculus, you know, you have your algebra, but your calculus and others. And uh, that's F3, that's F4. So if I press F4 right here, and then move it up a little bit, F4 right here, you see uh, some this graph table, uh, DD variable, clear the graph. Actually, hold on. Let me go back because I meant to say this. I'm sorry. You have your algebra and you have your calculus. And here's what the, this is what the engineers or the engineer students will use, mostly use. You have your differential equation. So if you want to do some differentials, you press, en select number one, press enter. And then you type in your function there. And just a mini example. Let me go ahead and zoom out. Let me adjust here. And I'm just gonna find, let's find the derivative of x squared. So for those who have who done calculus before, uh, if you do the derivative of x squared, comma, x, close parenthesis. Let me show you how it came out like that, press enter, and as you guys can see, it gave me 2x, okay? So the, by the way, the, the and you can find this in, in, in your TI um, the website uh, with the, their you know, user manuals and how the same tax work. Uh, by the way, that gives me another, uh, uh, you know information in the back of your TI and let me just take out my cover because I had the cover in it in the back of the TI I don't know if you guys can see it's right here right here is the website of the calculate of the TI education.ti.com okay or you can just google Texas instrument and just be aware Texas instrument 
is an electronic engineering company. Um, they not only do calculators, they also do micro uh, microprocessors, and they also have donated a lot of um, um, calculators to schools. That is why most um, this many school has used the TI calculator because they they were donated and and hence many universities decide to do you know tutorials or make you know great books and and the same thing with the high schools so that's where you can find some information again comment below if you guys want more more information about the TID9 and um, I've been getting just uh, a handful of people asking about TID9 and uh, before I forget um, feel free to look at my description underneath because that's where I also have posted some links to some um, to some of my um, other websites on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I um, also have a, my PayPal down there if you guys want to donate because I'm for, you know I'm taking my own time to do these videos. I also have a Patreon um, uh, account. And there you guys was you, you right there you guys can if you need uh, some um, tutoring services I will do that. The way that will work is that I will actually post a video to you know, showing you how to work working out the problems uh, of the homework or the problems you give me. So I hope you guys out. Okay, so check those things out, please. And, and also uh, I will be posting there this. Um, uh, for example, in stats, uh, in the part of stats, I will also post videos uh, where I will not post. Uh, watch in general. Uh, there will be videos that I will not post on Facebook. I'm sorry, on YouTube, but it will be on the Patreon uh, website. Okay, so, so that's a little introduction there for that part. And now let's zoom out the video here. Let me zoom out a little bit. Where I'm going to do now. Like I mentioned before, I, whenever I turn, you know, let me turn it off and turn on back the calculator, I get this uh, screen, which I personally don't like it. But if you like it, that's fine. You can leave it like that. Just remember, you have to go to the home to enter to get there. But if you don't like seeing that over and over, just go to mode. Mode is the same thing as settings or setup. And if you go down, keep going down. It's pretty much, I believe it's on the, let me see. Uh, you will see down up here, by the way, this. And let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me just here. All right. So pressing down. And also up here, you can see for shorter purposes, page one, page two, and page three. You can either just press F1 for page one, F2 for page two, and F3 for, for page three. And that will pretty much just uh, jump you to those pages instead of going down all the way down. In this case, it's actually all the way at the bottom, also known as page three at the bottom, which it says apps desktop. It's on right now, but I'm gonna hit the right key, go up and press enter. And it turns off. So now I'm pressing enter again. So I'm in that screen right now. And let me zoom out. So when I turn it off and turn back on, I'm on my home page, home screen. Okay? All right. So that's a little basic of that. There's plenty of other stuff you you know, when you press your F3 and uh, you can do your now, uh, integration, limit, sums. Again, if you guys want any of these tutorials about these things, please go ahead and comment below. Uh, and again, if you guys want a little more uh, details, uh, go to my Patreon uh, um, page. Uh, so far, I'm doing tut uh, tutoring for statistics, but as, you know, time passes on. I, you know, I will update it. Uh, you know so and so okay and again please comment below and because also your comments will give me ideas for other types of videos and tutorials and 
So here we got the algebra section, finding your zeros. But the part I wanted, I don't want to go to waste. I understand you don't want to be listening to this, you know, going over the same thing over and over. Is this part right here that says apps. If when you go to apps, and then you go to the first part right here, and you go down, oops, no, not sorry. You go right here. I'm gonna press enter right now. Let me press, press enter. And I have all these apps, apps right here. Uh, geometry, cell sheets, that's where you can create some hair. Uh, it's, um, it's like a, like just sheets of papers, EE e Pro, Finance, no 40, that's when you can create, write down notes. And I'm sorry, this is more like a, I wanna be sure I'm not. I believe, uh, to be honest, I haven't used not all of them. I used maybe three or four of them. The rest just looked at it and that's it. I believe that's the one you can do um, some uh, study guys, to be honest. I think that's for the study guys. ePro, uh, that, that's an app uh, for those who do in a, Electrical engineering, it helps. It has formulas and also programs that will help you solving uh, electrical engineering concepts, such as finding uh, you know um, the total power or the total or total volts of something, and giving the the resistor and the current or the volts voltage depending on what's given. Um, here is polynomial roots finder that will just find, helps you find the the if you have a quite, um, certain type of equation. Let me present it right here so you guys can current. I just current. Okay, I don't have it there. So I ask you, what's your de the root finder? And so the, what's your degree? So for example, if I have a degree of two. And that was a quadratic form with a quadratic equation. I can type in um, the numbers that are on the, the, um, the constants, that in the, um, the constants, sorry, the coefficients that are in the quadratic equation. So I can write down like a four. Now just be aware, I'm just making up numbers right now. So um, just bear with me. Um, let's see, two and one, I wonder if I get, and if I go to F5, I say if I just F5 to solve it, uh, it tells me this is a non real number. So, um, my answer is if I actually had like, in other words, if you instead of using your quadratic equation, I'm sorry, your quadratic formula to find the quadratic equation, and uh, you would use this. The only thing bad thing about this is that they will, they will if the answers are non real it will not give you an answer for that one. It will give you the answer only if it was real, a, a real number. Uh, and also your answer will be in decimals, not in fractions, if fractions is necessary or needed. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back to apps. I'm gonna go back to app, app, I mean, I'm sorry, back to flash apps. That's what I found that. And then we have the stimulus equation. So that's this one is for those who wants to find the, let me hit current. Okay, yeah. So this one is about the ones who have to find your missing variable given the numbers of equations. For example, if you have two equations and two unknowns, you will write down two equations like it has right, I already have it there. And automatically will already write down the two at the bottom, by the way. So if I write down four on top and go down, you will see it already marked four. And let's just put two for now. And press enter. And it gives you in a matrix format here. So your first equation on top, the second equation on the bottom, and you press the F5 and it'll give you the answer, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go back to apps, press apps, number one, flash apps, press enter. 
and we're gonna go to where it says stats slash list editor press enter and they're gonna ask you for your current folder is main select current folder I'm gonna keep it the default and create new folder I just I'm gonna leave it blank I'm just gonna press enter here's where you can do all your statistics this section right here is similar to your for those who have a, have been using a TID4 that you will go to stats so here's a TID4 let me turn it on clear and here when you go to stats let me zoom in you have this is for your statistics okay well for the TI-89 that's how we have it okay so right let me get okay, good okay so here on top when you press F1 let me get the lighting here okay um, and I'm gonna keep moving to the right which is gonna end up selecting F2 F3 F4 F5 F6 and of course we have the F7 so here's what in, in the list is where you're gonna type in your data and here on top where it has calc or calculate let me go back to F4 this is where you can find your one var stats your two var stars your regression and and regression oh my formulas so if I go there and press the right arrow you see linear regression quadratic cubic and so on and let me go let me zoom out here Put a little more up here. Yes, see it right here. Let me go. Let me go back. Here it goes. And if I do F5, that's where you found your distribution. So no more CDF, no more PDF. T distribution, the chi square, and binomial. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. The binomial, the Python. Your metrics, pretty much almost all of them. And F6, since I can either go to the right or, and let me exit here, let me oops, zoom out a little bit more. Let me exit here. If, for example, if you want to do your F6, but you don't have an F6 here, but it's here in blue, you would do second and the blue. Uh, uh, the blue second and the blue le um, commands are gonna uh, function <clears throat> so here you have um, your Z test your T test and so on and if I do second F7 your Z interval your T interval and so on or your intervals okay uh, now one thing you will notice and let me just uh, go back to go home if you do the this yellow one it's gonna affect the commands in yellow so for example if you want to do your y equal you would do the yellow and there it'll have your y equal and if you want to do for example uh, let's see this uh, the ti has um the TID now has, let me go to home so I can show you better. Clear this and go up here and clear all this also. If you go to, you can also do alpha and they'll do the letters here. The E and if you press this one, it's H. Yeah. So the alpha will do, or the white button, which is alpha, will do the white letters. Okay. All right, so this is a little introduction of the TID-9. As there's many others that unfortunately will not be able to fit in a shorter video. So hopefully people have stayed, you know, long enough to fin to till the end. 
And again, if you guys have any question, go ahead and just um, comment below or any ideas. Uh, and thanks for watching the video. Bye.